Good. Not worth an inmate. <laughs> This is Scott Phoenix, and you're listening to WGS Radio, Block Talk Radio. Hi, I'm the Reverend Jake Slayer. Do you occasionally suffer from itchy, stinky monkey butt? Well, if you do, I've got the product for you. New from the makers of Gummy Roids, it's Fruity Wipes. You can buy them by the roll or in the handy travel pack. Just take a Fruity Wipe, wipe once up, once down, and twice to shine. And your butt smells good like it should for the rest of the day. And remember, that's Fruity Wipes. New in your grocer's candy aisle next to the gummy rolls. This is Team Beach, and we are in WDF, the best running wrestling and gaming radio show ever. Only on Blog Talk Radio. And if you don't like anything we say or do. One, we respect your opinion. Two, fuck you. Hi, I'm Rin from Aurora Shock Media. What is Aurora Shock Media, you ask? Aurora Shock Media is a group of six people whose purpose is to give you quality entertainment pertaining to the latest and greatest video games, movies, music videos, and programs. We also provide awesome blogs and crazy stunts. And because there are six of us, there's always something new coming out. For more information about Aurora Shock Media, go to auroraschockmedia.webly.com. That's auroraschockmedia.weebly.com. And while you're there, check out our videos already uploaded. Aurora Shock Media, it has begun. This is Nick Bondage, and you're listening to WGS Radio, Blog Talk Radio. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm the Reverend Jake Slayer. Do you suffer from the burning, painful irritation of hemorrhoids? Well, if you do, I've got the product for you. Gummy Rides and the new 99-cent 12-pack. Just put one of those little gummy bears in the freezer for 30 seconds and slap it up between your cheeks, and BAM! Hemorrhoids are gone. Remember, that's Gummy Rides, new in your grocer's candy aisle. And now, back to our show. Bong, bong, bong. WTF Radio. The best running wrestling and gaming radio show ever. The Dudley Man Exley. And it's Dudley Man is twice nightly. The shining star Rick Star is in attendance. Yes, I am. What's going on, guys? Andy. Andy, how you doing? Hi, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hi. I'm the Reverend Big Slayer. Don't have you fan. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. WTF Radio. The best running wrestling and gaming radio show ever. Presented by www.thewrestlegamershow.com And we are back on the archive here on WGS Radio. Double B, Billy Pujo, joined with the rest of the group. Now, before we go any further, um, we have to go back to Sonic Fanatic, who was giving us his thoughts on Monday Night Raw. Sonic, if you please. 
Um, okay, let's see. Uh, the the mid segment that stage is pretty pointless. Um, Edge versus uh, Miz was all right uh, after Randy Orton came out. Um, Danny Bryan Bellas that match was pretty te terrible. Um, Santino Vladimir that match was pretty bad. And Barrett against Punk uh, I like Cena's. Uh, officiating, and then the last segment, which everybody came out and gave us a preview of the Rumble. I thought that was pretty good. So, my overall raw rating, uh, 3 out of 5. It was alright, but not too great. Now, before we get to the breakdown of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, um, Ashley has informed me that he has some uh, breaking news at, at this moment. Yeah, Ashley? A little, bit, a little bit of news. So just uh, a few bits that have developed while the show's been on. Uh... Riley is now apparently facing a second charge of driving on a suspended license, and that his court case has now been moved back to February the 22nd. So he, it, the awesomeness in Riley is looking to be dimming by the minute. Um, apparently, Randy Savage in the All Stars video game will be playable both as the Macho Man and the Macho King. Um, people, st there were some people apparently that still think that Batista will make his return later this year to WWE because they feel that uh, due to his lifestyle he would not be able to afford it whether he goes into MMA because he hasn't been able to get a contract yet but it seems like that isn't going to be done in the near future given how you've got Batiste 2 already there um, a few weeks ago apparently Dog the Bounty Hunter was contacted regarding a possible appearance at Wrestlemania uh, at least it's at least it's better than Justin Bieber. Um and as mentioned a bit earlier but I've only just Hey Ashley, the news Ashley. In. Does that mean Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife will be fighting that um awesome Kong? I don't know. Um <laughs> Same yeah, size. But a little bit of news is um Go on, as there. mentioned Go on. by Ministry of Darkness in the chat room, WWE has announced during their investors call that the Diva Search will be returning in 2011. It will take place during normal WWE program programming over a 10-week period. So it seems like NXT is being replaced by Diva Search. <clears throat> okay. All right, now let's get to the Royal Rumble uh, uh, pay-per-view here, guys. Uh, one more um, thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's one more Go thing. On. All right. Uh, let me see. Someone is reporting that WWE News expects to see some severe roster cuts in the near future. Yeah, I read about that. Yeah, that's a possibility to see that. Interestingly, apparently Shawn Michaels wants Flair to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony. Which, wait, given wait, wait, how he's trying to go completely apeshit at TNA, may happen. Um, Kimbo wait, so Slice... Maybe at WrestleMania as an un enforcer for The Undertaker. Uh, Dear God. Wait, about the roster uh, cuts, what, do you, what do you mean Go by on. the roster? What, what do you mean by the roster cuts? Like, you mean like they're doing going back to the original way, or they're going, or they're like just dividing the rosters up, or are they going back to no, what they used to I, I like think, in 2000? No, I think Well, remember, it's normally after Rumble time you get an exodus of about seven or eight people that get fired. Oh. Last time it was Mickey James and Shelton Benjamin and uh, oh. MV. Oh, just that firing. kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Just firings. Okay. Also, WWE is looking at producing a gorgeous George DVD. Hopefully, they do a better job than with Bobby the Brain. Uh, some content has been listed for Big Show's DVD. Wow, that's Ho interesting. And he's, oh. by the looks of it, he's getting more than one disc. So. Well, he, I think he's getting a free disc set, so he's even being shafted even more. Bobby, I mean, Bobby the Brain Heenan's being shafted even more, but that is all the updated news. I'm I'm finished with news for tonight. If you want any more news, check it out on the internet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> exactly. You lazy bugger. <laughs> oh, I, I do have hmm. a bit of news. Okay, yeah? Okay, he's ramp now. I'm... Since I'm in the hospital, I'm really wearing no pants and I have a brand new hospital gown. Um. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 
On that note of Rev Jake I'm getting a new hospital gown, let's get into the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? Um, let's show. All right, but b- before that, I would just like to say thank you for letting me spend time with you. Uh, this is chewing up my cell phone, Bill. Um, God, <laughs> I miss Skype. Yeah. Well, so I, I I'm going to I'm gonna wish all of you a good night, even Mick, and um, I was going to wish Gohan a good night, but that would just take the fun out of it for me. But the rest of you, <laughs> I love you. You have a good night, and Billy. Oh, do um, I might take the essay. Get, get Billy, well, write, Jake. Write, Billy, write down my number, because you uh-huh. have it there on, on the dashboard, right? Yeah. Either either tomorrow morning when you wake up, or even if it's the middle of the night because I won't sleep again, text me your uh, number if you want to. If you don't, that's cool. Either text it or call me, and then I'll call you back, and uh, I'll eat up the charges if you want me to. If you don't, that's cool. <laughs> the thing is, i got free long distance. Oh, well, if you feel like doing that, then go ahead. I'm lonely. <laughs> All right, well, I, I I wish you guys a good night, and I'm looking forward to getting back home and on the Internet so I can spend more time with all my friends. All right, Rev Jake. Uh, Love just, you, Jake. So glad, Jack. Cheers, Cheers, Jake. Hi. Take care, mate. All right, guys, on that note, let's get into the Royal Rumble. The first match we're going to look at is a matchup that was just recently announced on Monday Night Raw for the Divas Championship. A two-on-one handicap match, Natalia taking on Laycool, which is Layla and Michelle. The only reason I have a job is because I'm fucking Undertaker McCool. <laughs> two-on-one Divas match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me go, out, let me go ahead and do this. If they put the title... Michelle Taker. If they take the title off of Natalia and put it back on Laycool, I'm going to be extremely upset. Natalia is a more to in-ring talent than both members of Lay Cool combined. Natalia deserves to have the Divas title on her. She has worked hard for it. She's probably, one of, again, one of the only in, Divas in the WWE who can actually wrestle. So, I, I I am not, this is not my prediction. This is what I want. Natalia to go over on Lay Cool and retain the title. Please. That's my thought on it. Ashley, your thoughts on Natalia taking on Lay Cool? Um, honestly, I'm kind of, it's been going on for nearly 18 months now. I think the Lakel gimmick has run its time. It needs to break up pretty soonish, or otherwise, I just think that it's going to hurt Layla and Michelle McCall's careers as, you know, legit divas, even though Michelle can actually kind of wrestle because she had a decent match last week with Beth. Um, but I'm just going to say that Natalia will retain, but also, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Awesome Kong make her a rival there, and beat the shit out of all of them. So, your official prediction for this match? Natalia Neidhart. Why did I say that in a Russian accent? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what, me and Matt Dunn, your thoughts on Natalia taking on Lakel for the Divas title at the Royal Rumble. Hopefully she goes over. Uh, that's that's a uh, hot pick. Uh, that's, that's, you know, uh, and uh, yeah, I agree. Lake Cool should be uh, splitting up soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, Layla will uh, turn face and kick <coughs> kick Michelle McCool's ass. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I hope Natalia goes over. That's what I pick. Uh, Gohan, your thoughts on Natalia taking on Lake Cool at the Royal Rumble? Um, just like pretty much you said, um, they need to break up Lake Cool. Uh, it's, uh, I, I don't want to see Lake Cool. Um, uh, getting the win here because then that means they're going to continue with the crap. They need to end it once and for all. With Natalia winning here, that could do that. Um, as much as I really don't give a damn about Natalia, I'd rather see her win, win here, and just end the late cool thing once and for all. Let Layla split up with Michelle McCool somehow. Maybe turn Layla face or something. Like betray, betray Michelle McCool. The training is sounds cool because Layla can actually is actually a decent wrestler, decent woman wrestler, and she could do so much better without Michelle McCool. And I would like to see that. I would like to start them seeing them to push Kelly Kelly because she is a good wrestler. She's not just hot; she can actually wrestle. I don't care what anyone says; she's a good talent. Um, um, and you know, uh, I want, I really I just want to see Natalia win here to end once and for all 
the lay cool bull crap. Enough with the lay cool crap. End it once and for all. Natalia goes over here. As proven on Monday Night Raw, Natalia, Natalia can bend you into the good and bad pretzel. <laughs> They're back to being British, for God's sake. Well, let's go to the, the leader of Team Goo. Oh, my God! Mick hey. 37, Mick, <laughs> your thoughts on Natalia taking on Laycool for the Divas title? Once again, not worth an essay, but Natalia. <laughs> right, let's go to Chris Masters. Chris, your thoughts on the uh, Divas title match for the Royal Rumble. Natalia taking on both members of Laycool. Let me just say that Lady Cool's slogan shouldn't be flawless. It should be shitty. Boring. Um, <laughs> Boring. So, um, <laughs> so I, as you know, I'm going with Natalia. I hope, I hope she bends um, Michelle. Michelle, the only reason I have a job is because I'm giving the undertaker a blow job. And um, Layla, I hope, I hope that um, she bent. I hope Natalia just bends both of them into pretzels and feeds them to the crowd. That's one cross you don't want to swallow. <laughs> on that Hopefully one, they'll fall on the floor. On that one, it's WWE fan. WWE fan, oh. your thoughts on Natalia taking on Lakel for the Divas title at the uh, Royal Rumble? Okay, my officially pick is Natalia, and I have to say this will definitely be simply beautiful, flawless. <laughs> oh my God! Let's go to Andy. Andy, your thoughts on Natalia taking on Lay Cool at the Royal Rumble for the Divas title? <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be Natalia all the way, and it, hopefully it'll be the end of La Cool. I That's just can't see that carrying on anymore. And I'm not sure who it was that said um, Callie Callie's good, got good in ring skills. I think his testicles are talking there. <gasps> oh no, she's a good wrestler. <laughs> no. Michelle <laughs> McCool's <laughs> match champion. with Beth last week. Kelly <laughs> Kelly still needs a bit yeah. of work. I need to work her in. Um, but I can tell. The they're match both finished. as bad as each other. They're both Stacey Keeblers at the end of the day. All they can do is push <laughs> people in the corner and put the leg under the throat. They're sex babies. I'm guessing. I'm guessing what? for this match, the match finish will be Natalia putting both of them in a double sharpshooter. I would like to kind of like what Angle did to Hardy and Anderson, Bound for Glory. They're going to hold each other's hand to make sure the other one doesn't tap. If that happens, you heard it here first. And WWE, write something different, please. Let's go to Rorschach Media's Sonic Fanatic with his thoughts on Natalia taking on Lay Cool at the Royal Rumble. First off, are they taking on both of them? Is she is Natalia taking on yes, both of them? Yes, it's a two-on-one two on yeah. one handicap match. All right, here's what I perceive is going to happen. Um, <clears throat> Natalia's going to go for a pin. Uh, one of, the other member of Lay Cool is going to try to shove her off. The ref's going to shove her back. And then Lay Cool's going to get an argument. Uh, without it, and then Natalia's going to cover up for a pen, and Ray Cool's going to fight, and it basically explode. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next match here, and it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge defending against Dolph Dick Jiggler Ziggler. <laughs> this match... Jiggler. Now, this match Jiggler. came up from the... Well, first, it was, it was scheduled to be a triple threat match until Vicky Guerrero... When, t when Teddy Long wasn't there, decided to make it a fatal four-way for the number one contendership and where Dick Jiggler got the win. And then in the past few weeks, Dolph Ziggler has actually been doing a pretty good job building up and hyping up his world title match with Edge. So a lot of people ag don't uh, agree to disagree about the fact that Dolph Ziggler is in the position that he's in. A lot of people agree to disagree about the way that he got there. But the fact is, you know, they're giving him a shot. I, I don't see him running with the World Heavyweight title at this time. I really don't think he's ready for it. But uh, at least giving him a shot at it to see how he performs under this kind of pressure. 
because seriously, it is you know heavy duty pressure to be in a world heavyweight title match, and if they put that title on you, that means that you're one of the faces of the company. That means they, they're expecting you to carry the company, so that's why they're giving you the title. But um, at this point in time, I really don't think Dolph Ziggler is ready for it. I really don't think, I really don't see them putting the title on on Ziggler in this match. So my official prediction for this one is Edge is going to come out on top. And and I don't mean it in the giggity way either. As we go to Ashley with his thoughts on Edge, with Edge taking on Dolph Ziggler. There's a couple of possibilities going around in my head. Uh, one is involving the fact that Edge just wins and Dolph, you know, is 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 out kind of thing. The other one is Edge wins, but then what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Edge Edge wins, but then um, Dolph Ziggler manages to somehow get himself in the Rumble, win the Rumble, and go on to WrestleMania to possibly take on Edge. Now, when that happens. It could be done either with Vicky by his side or Vicky by Edge's side. Because I could see Vicky going, yeah, Dick Jiggler isn't impressing me in bed anymore. I think I'll stick with the guy that's rated R. Or, really? But I'm going to say Edge retains. All right, let's go to Mean Matt Dunn with his thoughts on Ash taking on Dolph Dick Jangler Ziggler for the World Heavyweight title. <laughs> okay, well, um, I pretty much agree with you, Billy. Uh, Dolph Ziggler has to up his game, but at this juncture, I, don't, I wouldn't put the belt on him. I would say it's retained, and uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler possibly going to the Rumble and winning. Uh, that, that may be a possibility. All right, all right, guys and gals, let's get Gohan's thoughts on Ash taking on Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight title. First of all, it's Edge versus Dolph Bigler. But um, anyways, in all seriousness aside, Bigler is going to lose this match. He sucks. He doesn't deserve to be in the main event for the title. I don't care what anyone says. He's an idiot. He just lost the Intercontinental title. Why not push Kobe Kingston, who should be in the main event by now? He's not. Or if you want to put a heel in there, put Jack Swagger in there, who was a former world champion. No, they put in Dolph. Bigler uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Another stupid move by WWE. Um, but no, um, no, I, I think you'd appreciate Ziggler more if Rey Mysterio wasn't so hoary about having the Intercontinental title back in 08. Sure. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was glad Rey Mysterio did that because Ziggler still sucks. <laughs> well, on, on that so, note, let's go to the leader, Team Goose. Oh, my God! Mick 37. Edge is getting the win. All right, Mick 37, your thoughts on Edge sticking on Dolph, Crimea River, Dick, Jiggler, Swiggler, Ziggler? <laughs> um, well, Dick Jiggler by himself is, well, you can sum it up in one word, a dick. And I think Edge is going to come out with it. Once again, not worth an essay. Go on. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Oh, by the way... This is Team Gooch, and we are in WDS, the best running wrestling and gaming radio show ever, only on Blog Talk Radio. And if you don't like anything we say or do, one, we respect your opinion. Two, fuck you. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's go to Chris Masters with his thoughts on Ash taking on Dolph, I zigzag my dick, Jiggler, Ziggler. <laughs> Well, you should really be more careful with his flies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I just hope that in the end, Edge ends up sparing Tiny Dick Wiggler and Icky, my breath, or Saggy Guerrero. The oh. Dick has a wig. Yeah. Dear God. Well, let's go to that every fan and get his thoughts <laughs> of Edge taking on Dolph. I smell like Vicky's queef. What the fuck, Ziggler? <laughs> okay, I think Ed to win, and Vicky's gonna turn on uh, Dolph. 
so that means Dolph is going to be jiggling his way out the arena. <laughs> All right, let's Damn. go to Andy with his thoughts on Edge defending the World Heavyweight title against Dolph. I like to <laughs> jiggle and wiggle my pig old Ziggler. <laughs> I think it's pretty much carved in stone who's going to win. It's going to be Edge. But um, I, I'd like most, I'm sick and tired of the same people fighting for belts. Pay-per-view after pay-per-view after pay-per-view. So at least Dolph is a bit different then. If they, have eight, if they have eight championship matches on a pay-per-view, it's always the same eight guys fighting in various different matches. Getting a bit lame now. All right, let's go to Sonny Fanatic and get his thoughts on Edge taking on Dolph. I jiggle my wee-wee every morning, Ziggler. Uh, I foresee uh, Vicky trying to distract Edge. Uh, Ziggler goes for a move on Edge on the outside. He hits Vicky, turns around into a spear. Edge picks up the win. Vicky leaves Dolph. That's how I see it. Now, ladies okay. and gentlemen, the next match we're going to talk about is going to be kind of a hard match to call. Oh, it's yes. for the WWE Championship as we see The Miz taking on Randy Orton. Now, again, the reason why I say it's very hard to call is because you know, two pop, two popular ways they can go. You know, one, they can keep the, the, the title on The Miz and keep him on the heel run that he's going with in the WWE. Or if they want to go for a change of pace and change of storyline, they could put the title on Randy Orton and start a whole new feud with Orton and Miz over the title. So that's why I say it's very difficult to call on which way this one is going to go. But if I have to be a... a a bet man, I, I kind of think Randy Orton's going to win the match, but not the title. The way I, the reason why I say the match, but not the title, because I believe in some way, maybe in some facet, we're going to see Alex Riley interfere on the Miz's behalf when the Miz is losing horribly, and get the Miz intentionally disqualified for him to keep the title. That's kinda, that's kind of what I'm seeing that could happen. That's the way I see it going down. Again, it's not a definite prediction, but it's what I probably see going on. That's one of the possible scenarios. So let's go to Ashley. Ashley, your thoughts on the Fizz taking on Randy Orton. Little side note, why the fuck does Alex Riley still have a briefcase? Is he auditioning for Deal or No Deal or something? I don't, I don't know. Just um, <laughs> Inside that case, Shit don't forget your toothbrush. With Michael Cole's DNA on it. Holy shit, we shouldn't have looked no. inside. Um, honestly, I... The head says... Or, well, my heart says Orton should win, but the head says the only logical thing for them to do really is to keep the Miz because he deserves this push for all the effort that he's been doing in the past God knows how many years that he's been in the company. You know, they don't they don't want to screw over their champions because they don't want another Randy Savage or Ultimate Warrior situation. So I'd say keep the belt on him. He could I, I think he's more likely to lose it perhaps at Elimination Chamber. So I'm going to say Miz will retain. All right, let's go to Mean Matt Dunn and get his thoughts on the Miz, Michael Cole's favorite gay wrestler, taking on Randy Orton for the WWE title. Uh, Miz retains, but uh, by DQ or count out or something like that. Pretty much like what you said, Billy. All right, let's go to Gohan and get his thoughts on the Miz. I like to play with Michael Cole's jiggly thing between his legs <laughs> and Randy Orton for the WWE title. Okay, guys. It, it was this. Randy Orton's going to win the WWE champion this Sunday. The age of awfulness is going to end, thank God, because Miz... Whoa! I'm going. Uh, all right. Well, hold on. We oh, we lost Gohan. <coughs> we, lost, we lost Gohan. Well, let's go to Mick Thirty Seven. Now we get his thoughts <laughs> on the Miz who smells awful and Randy Orton. I think so, the Miz is going to win just because of the storyline it's going, and um. Once again, not worth an essay. Gohan. <laughs> Gohan is gone. Gohan is not even here now, Mick. Go, go. Let's go to Chris, go to Chris Masters. 
as we get his thoughts on the Miz who plays with Alex Riley's dinghy <laughs> and Randy Orton for the WWE title. If it's his dinghy, does he blow it up? <laughs> <laughs> he blows it up, he wouldn't need the use of the vibrator. <laughs> Inflate the bulls. <laughs> I think I think you just said a Jesse Ventura reference there, but anyways, um, I think the Wiz yeah, I'm right. just needs to take just needs to take a Wiz and go. Um, and I would really like to see the Wiz, yes, the Wiz, get punted in the skull by Randy Orton and Orton uh, winning the WWE title. Get what in the skull? Get punted. Oh, punted. That was punted. All right, well, let, let's let's go to WWE fan and get his thoughts on the Miz, mm-hmm. who, who enjoys nightly <laughs> pounding Michael Cole's ass and Randy Orton for the WWE title. Okay, I'm going to have to say the Miz, unfortunately. All right, let us go to Andy and get his thoughts on the Miz taking on Randy Orton for the WWE title. Hey, I ran out of jokes. I can't come up with them all the time. Yeah, it's going to be the... I think it's going to be the Miz for the simple reason. I think he's going to take the belt all the way to WrestleMania. He'll have an un- undefeated streak between now and WrestleMania, which will make him and the Undertaker uh, a more interesting match than it won't be. All right, let's, go, let's go to Roar Shock Media, Sonic Fanatic, and get his thoughts on this match. Hard to say. I want uh, Orton to win, but. Uh, knowing the Miz, he's going to pull out all the stops to try to make sure that he wins. So, I want Orton to win, but it's hard to see how this one's going to go. Um, Sonic, before I go any further, can uh, do me a big favor because he's asking me to. Can you co- uh, get conference? Can you a conference call with Tails? Because he's asking to oh, get I'll in. Do it. I'll okay. Do it. Um, just an interesting little point I would like to make with regards to where the Miz is going to be. It makes sense for him to headline WrestleMania, given how they're trying to push Tough Enough. Because hmm. Miz was a Tough Enough star. And if you have him at WrestleMania the night before the debut of the series as yeah, yeah. the WWE champion, whether he is champion by the end of the night, who cares? It will still be the fact is, look, I was in your position five, six years ago. Look where I am now, on top of the food chain. Deal with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to probably one of the hardest matches we're going to try to to get in now. But before going any further, we have Tails from Rorschach Media. Tails, how are you doing? <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, we're, again, hey, Skype, thank you very much. And uh, we did lose another person here. Um, who did we lose? Not me. We lost Mick. Oh, oh no. we we lost Mick and Chris Masters. Uh. Oh no, too. Andy, if you can try to conference them in too, that would be a big help. Um. Yeah. So try try to get them in. So uh, with, with that being said, again, let me go through this list here. We have, uh, I have a confirmed list of some of the superstars who are going to be in this year's Royal Rumble match. Twenty-eight so far confirmed. Yes, Alberto Del Quifo. I'll say it again. Alberto Del <laughs> Quifo. I'll say it one more time. Alberto Del Quifo. Dashing in moronic. Ow, my nose is broken, Cody Rhodes. Oh. Wait, hold on. Mick37 is asking to get in now. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hopefully this won't screw up the call too much. Hopefully. All right, Mick, are you there? Yeah. All right, now, Andy, if you have Chris Rogers on your contact list, can you um, can you conference him in on your call? Yeah, I've, I've, I've conferenced him. I'm hey, what you've got, Mick, now. So, All right. Yeah, he's okay. All right, now, uh, now Mick, um, I don't know if we got your thoughts on the Fizz taking on Randy Orton. Yeah, I did. I said, All right. uh, oh, yeah. Fizz. All right, now, uh, we're going to the Royal Rumble match here, and we have a... A, tw- uh, a confirmed list of 28 stars that are in this 40-man Royal Rumble match, and it's Alberto Del Quifo. I'll say it again. Alberto Del Quifo. I'll say it one more time. Alberto Del Quifo. <laughs> Dashing moronic. Ow! My nose is broken. Cody Rose. <laughs> R-Truth, who isn't getting crunk. Ray, cry me a river, Mysterio. John, the Super Cena. CM sucks. I mean, punk. <laughs> David Otunga, 
Husky I'm married or to Jennifer Hudson. Hudson. See, I'm drunk. <laughs> well, let's see how many jokes I could come up with when some of these stars, guys. No. Husky, more donuts than a bakery, Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Michael McGillicuddy, I'm not going to make a joke about because I actually have respect for him and respect for his From family. this moment on, from this point on, Genesis, <laughs> Phil Collins. There you go. <laughs> King of the man ass tribe, Seamus. <laughs> the luckiest son of a bitch. The luckiest son of a bitch on the planet, Daniel Bryan. The man who WWE wants to call Jomo, which is not homo, but sounds homo. John Morrison. Ted DiBiase. The world's strongest jobber, the Kool-Aid man, Mark Henry. <laughs> Why the hell are you going out with Maurice, you fucker? The Black John Cena, Darren Young. David Hart Smith. Three more, I still have a job. Call on. My God, they're scraping the bottle for this Royal Rumble. Tyson, who looks like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> William Regal, I have respect for. William Regal, I have respect for. I'm not going to make a joke on him. And William Regal's going to be in tough enough, so hell yeah. Yoshi Tatsu, I also have respect for. It's the woo, woo, woo fool, Zack Ryder. It's the Wu Tang class. <laughs> Nick, Nick 37's favorite wrestler, Ezekiel Blackson Jackson. Don't mess with that nigga. The oh, Wendy's. It's the Wendy's girl, Heath Slater. <laughs> Justin Gabriel. Now, again, I have a little bit of respect for Gabriel because he's got a damn good 450 slash. Wade Bocce Barrett. Wade Gorett. Beat Batista, I mean, Mason Ryan. Jack Swaga. And Drew, I can't get laid with Kelly Kelly McIntyre. Oh. So Tiffany would object. Although, given how the video package where they do the numbers mentions that Kane will be in his 13th consecutive Royal Rumble. Expect to see Kane added to that list in the next day or two. If he isn't, WWE have fucked up. It's nearly as bad as Michael Cole's epic coal mining failures. Exactly. Again, with 40... Well, you know what? Let's hear one of these epic fails. And then he turned his attention. He delivered an RKO to a distressed, satanic Stephanie McMahon took away his husband. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon took away his husband. Stephanie McMahon took away his husband. She has his husband. She's got bigger balls than he's got. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh, I want to get everyone's well, thoughts on uh, uh, who's going to win the Royal Rumble first. Um, Ashley, can you give us your thoughts on the Royal Rumble match? I'm not going to put a solid... I, I'm, I'm already on, like, a with some of my other friends on Facebook, I'm already in, in a private little number thing. And uh, I'm going to draw number 36. So if number 36 is Zack Ryder, I'm going to be going, I'm fucked. <laughs> um, but <laughs> some of the people that I think... I'm not going to give a definitive name yet, I think. I might have to think about it. But some of the names I think you're going to see in properly contention. Uh, Del Rio, I think, may possibly win. Uh, Ziggler, if he somehow gets in. If The Miz loses the um, WWE title, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to see him try and get in and win. Some backhanded way. Triple H... Possibly, but unlikely, because then you'd have to have Sheamus win the title somehow, because that's the only way you could really come up with a storyline. Undertaker, I don't see realistically as a strong one, uh, but it'll be you know it's because we've still got twelve names that are mystery. That, well, sorry, eleven because of Kane, because we've still got eleven names that are a mystery. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a huge swerve and. Uh, Macho Man came in and won it. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Stephanie, you're mine tonight! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I'd actually oh, enjoy shit, that. Did I say that out loud? Shit, did I say that out loud? Oh, God. <laughs> God help me, Rev, please. <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I wonder when you would play that. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, guys. The leader of Team Gooch. Hold on. Oh my God! Mick thirty seven. Mick, your thoughts on the Royal Rumble match? Mick. Mick, are you? Are you uh, Mick, are you on the line? He's here. Oh. Yeah. Mick, you're on the goddamn line. Say something, you queefo. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, quick, go to somebody else. Cover it up. All right, let's go on to Mean Matt Dunn. Mean, uh, mean Matt, your thoughts on the Royal Rumble match? Okay, who I would like to win would be Christian, so we could see Edge versus Christian. Who will win? Uh, Del Rio's got a shot. Uh, John Morrison, I think, has a shot. Uh, if uh, Dolph Ziggler can uh, weasel his way, Dolph Ziggler's got a shot. But uh, I'm not going to give a definite name either. All right, let us. Well, let's go to Mick Thirty Seven. I believe he's there now. Just bring it, bitch! Mick, are you there? Yes, I am. Your thoughts on the Royal Rumble match? Well, I think if Triple H doesn't come back, which I doubt he will, so I think it's going to end up being Kane. All right. Oh. All right, let's go to WWE fan. WWE fan, your thoughts? Every day I've tried to pick someone, but. Every time I would, but have to change my pick. So I'm going to take a big risk. Risk say the winner of the Royal Rumble is going to be Justin Gabriel. We're going to say Justin Bieber. That fuck. Oh man! If he was going to say Justin Gabriel, then you could just say. Just bring it, bitch. bitch. <laughs> All right, let's go to Chris Masters. Chris, your thoughts on the Royal Rumble? All right, well, I have a short list of people who I say, why the fuck are they in, are these people in the Rumble? Darren Young, Logan. Primo, <laughs> William Regal, Zach Wee Wee Ryder, Keith Winder, Wendy's Transgender Slater, Jack Suffering Suckatash Swagger, and David... Deku is so tiny, it even makes Jennifer Hudson scream a tongue up. <laughs> what about Those this three creams on an ice cream sandwich! <laughs> what in the blue hell are you doing? Bring back <laughs> Drew Carey. He was brilliant. <laughs> and three cream on an ice cream sandwich! <laughs> what in the blue hell are you doing? It was either that or David. My dick is so tiny. <laughs> I get mistaken for a lady. Um, I'll talk about it. Um, as for who... <laughs> Stop. You get mistaken right. for a lady when his wife's Jennifer Hudson. All right, all right, all right. She could have gone, lesb she she could've gone lesbian. <laughs> but anyways, for, <laughs> as well. for who may win, um, I'm going to go out on a ledge, and it's a toss-up between two people, Daniel Bryan or John Cena. All right, now let's go to Dunn. All right, hold on. Let's go to Andy now. Andy, your thoughts on the Royal Rumble match? I'm not going to pick anybody that's in the current roster at the moment because they haven't finished putting people in there, and I think it's going to be somebody that you least expect. In fact, I think they're going to make it that everyone who loses on the night will be able to go into the Royal Rumble to make up the numbers because I think they're struggling. Whoever's yeah. in there at the moment, I don't think, stands a chance. That's why they're keeping 10 people back, because they're going to pick 10 of the best people that you'll least expect. And it'll guarantee it'll be one of those 10 that wins. Hey, can I change my, can I change my prediction? Can't change it. Here are you. What the hell? No, he's not there. I'm just messing Rocky's up. Rocky's going to be entering the Rumble? Hell yeah. Hi, yeah. Yeah, Nick Bondage is going to be in it too. With ODB. <laughs> and Amazing or Awesome Kong, whatever they want, or they're going to call her something Kong. Oh, and Ashley, you're going to be in it in number 36. Um, I think I want to I want to change my prediction. I want to change my prediction on who will win the Royal Rumble. Who's going to win? Triple H. I think he's going to make his return to this uh, Royal Rumble. Oh, my God! I, I, be Giga, see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he saw Awesome Kong go in the Rumble. And, and the also, 
Um, Sheamus, I think, may break Kane's record for the number of eliminations in one match. Right. Speaking of Sheamus, if Triple H does, can Sheamus win the title of Elimination Chamber? And they could uh, have the WrestleMania like that? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Or, if they, or if they do an angle with Sheamus, like Triple H screws him or something. Like, I'll tell you what, if, out if Triple, H, H, recently, no, Triple, H, if Triple H does come back for the Royal Rumble and wins, he just goes to show how lame the WWE <laughs> is when a person that supposedly got eight months ring rust comes in and wins. Yep. That would well, be so they, lame. Yeah, and they did the same thing with John Cena. Yeah, Yeah, well, that would be so lame. I, I don't think Triple H is coming back. I don't know why no. people keep thinking he I is. I think there's more chance yeah, the of getting Luke and... I really think there's more chance of seeing Luke in the ring. I love Christian. Te they technically did it with Mr. Perfect back in 02. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen. Oh, and Let's go to Raw Shock Media, Sonic Fanatic, and get in thoughts on the Royal Rumble match. Here's what I see happening. Um, they've done it before. I think they'll do it again. Uh, they'll bring back a superstar that's been out for a while, have him win the Rumble, and that superstar, he's on the latest cover of WWE magazine, Triple H. That's, that, that's what I think. I think he'll eliminate Sheamus last and therefore set up that feud. Uh, Sheamus goes to the Elimination Chamber, wins the title there, and sets up uh, Sheamus against Triple H for the title at WrestleMania. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, no, but it's, it's not, you think it's not about Triple it. H. It's not Triple you H think about that. Back at the Royal, hold on, Andy. It's not Triple H that's coming back in the Royal Rumble. It's this guy. Thomas Jefferson, sucker! Well, somebody that you, you know, this happened, no. everybody would go, oh, shit. But what if one of the ten missing people at the minute was Sting? Uh, I don't think, do that think about this logic. I don't he's are, he's, vowed, that, he's vowed that he won't work for them. Think about this logic, wow. guys. The, the main push we have for WrestleMania is our friend, The Undertaker. But whether you like it or lump it, the main push for WrestleMania is The Undertaker going for his 19 and 0. If Triple H comes back, that's going to push all the weight on Triple H and make The Undertaker's match look rather crap, to be perfectly honest. So they ain't going to do that. No way are they going to do it. If you think about it logically, they're not going to make Triple H look the, the biggest man on the planet because he's been out of it for so long, <coughs> fighting The Undertaker and lose. It's just not going to happen. Right. Got more chance of seeing just... a new match between Vince McMahon and Donald Trump. <coughs> Well, guys, uh, that, that's I'll, I hate to cut this short, guys, but that's going to be it. But before we go, let's hear this <laughs> one more time. Yay! Don't want to get the rest of the gentlemen. It's time for another epic debate. Billy Bozo for president. Have your attention, please. I've received another manager from the another email from the general manager. Have your attention, please. I've received another manager from the another email from the general manager. He received no. He did receive a manager, and his name was Alex. Oh. Okay. Uh, double B. Tell you something. Um, what number do you think the winner's going to come from? And that oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say right off the blue 34. <laughs> I'm going to say 39. <laughs> um, I'll... Mick, your, fav your favorite number is 69. <laughs> 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 the, 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 winner, the winner of the Royal Rumble will be number 39 because it's going to be the last person to come in the ring almost. Right. So they won't, won't be number 40. It'll be number 39. You'll sit there watching it, and all of a sudden, somebody's music will come on, and your bottom jaw will hit your lip. You know, what? I, you know what? I know, I know whose music's going to come <laughs> on. Listen. Hey, this is the Studley Man, Ashley. <laughs> and I'm looking for my cowbell. Oh. Did you realize? Oh, I found it. Right, let's go, boys, from the top. One, two, three. America, okay. dream. Okay. 
going to Boston, baby. We're going to Boston. He's just a common man. Sang that song. <laughs> All right, it's a little thought for the following week from me. I think TNA needs another freak in its roster. Find out more tomorrow night. And this Sunday will John Cena's hometown in the Warrior Rumble, so that might have a clue as well. Uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Wrestle Talk here on WGS Radio. I'd like to thank all of my guests for this week. The Rocket, even though he hates me. <laughs> uh, I still thank him. I'd like to thank Ashley, Mick37, WWE Fan, Mean Matt Dunn, Andy, yeah. Chris Masters, and Aurora Shock Media Sonic Fanatic for joining me on this week's WrestleTalk. And Talk. Rev Jake, damn it. And Rev Jake, again, we just and Matthew. From his and Matthew. Bag. And Matthew from Matramania. Sure. Hope, Wait, yeah. Uh, um, uh, mean Matt Dunn, uh, I hope you can make a your personal mission to get him back on WrestleTalk on WGS Radio next week. Uh, I'll, try. <laughs> I'll try, no guarantees. All right, with that being said, I'm Double B Billy Bujo. Thank you very much for tuning in to Wrestle Talk. Be sure you tune in each and every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, slash WGS Radio. And as always, WGS Radio has been <laughs> presented by www.thewrestlegamershow.com. On the left of Leaf. On that remember, note, just I'm... a quick point, Saturday, if you are a gamer fan, this Saturday, 7 p.m. Central, we're going to be doing Gamer Talk, loads of big gossip, boobs in Tiger Woods, boobs <gasps> for the PS3 involving many different games, seems to be getting Big-a-day. a bit problematic, and uh, something else that will happen in the next few days which will make it get horny. Back to you, Billy. <laughs> On hey, that Billy. note, I'm Double B, Billy Boudreaux. I'm sorry, Chris, we're out of time. I'm Double B, Billy Boudreaux. Have a great night, everybody. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hi, I'm Sonic Fanatic from Aurora Shock Media, and you're listening to WGS Radio. <laughs> then I got mud fan on my penis. Um, after what happened to his uncle, Eddie Guerrero, back in November... <laughs> Wallet and nature's preserve. Beware of the granny waft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't combine my liquor. Liquor also get a you know case, bad case of Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> and that's why we call it wrestling talk with an edge. It's the rant live every Tuesday night at eight o'clock Eastern on Blog Talk Radio and Go Fight Live. I'm confused. Beware of the granny walk. White walk. Put that out to tell them to run off. I am the rock, and you're listening to WGS Radio Live. WGS Radio. The best run wrestling and gaming radio show ever. The Dudley Man actually. And the Dudley Man is twice nightly. The shining star Rick Star is in attendance. Yes, I am. What's going on, guys? Andy, Andy, how you doing? Hi, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hi, I'm the Reverend Big Slayer. Don't have you fan. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. WGS Radio. The best run wrestling and gaming radio show ever. Presented by www.thewrestlegamershow.com. Yeah, get it.